just hear this Yo, this is Nash, and you're watching. Call. Yo, this is Nash, and you're watching Type Tech, where I buy tech that are cool for. So let's begin. In the last episode, I have gone through my five main criteria of how I judge the earpiece and also how I deduct certain points and if you're not sure what I'm talking about or you are new here please click on the card right now and also on the previous video I have gone through the earpiece which is I call it the generic earpiece and it fed quite poorly with my standards I have set and to refresh your mind, what are the five things that I will look out for? The short, long term usage, which is basically the comfort. Number two, the battery life. Number three, build quality. Number four, portability. And last, drop resistance. With all that five main points and also the minor complaints, our dear generic earpiece fed very poorly with about 27 points out of 100 poss possible of 100 percent that is actually terrible will our next competitor do better <laughs> obviously about how better it is we will find out introducing our competitor which is in the last episode, I call it the another generic earphones, but for gaming. But, but I found while surfing through the Lazada and also my previous purchase, I found the exact same model, which is called the Plexstone G20, and this baby go is selling for about fifteen. Maybe lesser than that. It's depend on your luck. So, is this any good? Main feature of this earpiece is it is magnetic. Like yes, it is probably the only earpiece that has this magnetic thing that I like. It, it has a very satisfying click right there. You can hear and and because of that, it is actually strong enough to use it for one one year usage and if you can see in the photo right now i will show you yep it looks like that so it is good for when you are doing editing so you can just use it on one side and if you are intend to play games the cable is relatively long and it comes with this box of accessories which is like it's a lot of stuff first of all there is a splitter which is the audio and mic splitter to connect to this earpiece so that you can use it as a mic to communicate with your friends and also it has a uh, another extender cable for if you are playing on a pc so quite quite interesting and next the accessory also comes with multiple earbuds which is i found it quite fascinating as you can see right here there is the two generic small small and large ear tips and if you are looking for more uh jamming into your ear for competitively there is like a memory foam here and the clip for you to put it on your chest so they can get it close to your mouth so it's easier for you to communicate with your friends there is also a wind tip right here 
which is also just attach it to your earbud if you are into more of exercising and stuff for this kind of pricing is actually quite a lot of stuff you can get it so and from what i believe it is actually quite a good entry level for for gaming if you are looking for something cheap so let's go with the five things number one about long term long and long and short term usage how's the comfort it's actually not too bad but it's not the best either because it protrudes out on my ear so it is actually good if you're just intending to play games but if you're just going to like lie around use it to watch movie and stuff it will be quite uncomfortable if you try to lie it on your one side of the ear so i will give it a three out of five next it doesn't have a battery because it's wired it ha i give it a zero out of five build quality for a 15 dollar earpiece it it can it has it feels like it made of metal especially the tip right here it has magnet it has actually quite good quality plastic right here which is the slider of the volume and it is also a flat type ear uh, wire which is actually good for putting into your pocket and it, it will not tangle as often as the other generic earpiece so i will give it a solid four out of five just because it is a earpiece it is wired so it will be quite a annoying to keep on coil it into your pants hence i will deduct one point next portability i would say cable is re relatively long but because it doesn't tangle i like that but it is just because the cable is long and it will take some time for me to coil it to put into my pocket i have to deduct one point from it so i will also give it a four or five and last, how's the drop resistant like? Well, like all the earpiece I have tested so far, it will just give a solid 5 out of 5 because you can slam this baby down on the floor. Nothing would happen to it. Because of all of that, it gotten 16 out of 25 possible points and it has 74% of 100 but remember there is minor complaints so how do i judge between the clarity and the bass it is the fact that this is a gaming earpiece it doesn't it has it has a weaker bass than the generic or the other generic earpiece and it's actually leaning towards more clarity but it still have some bass for it so i give it more towards like a 2 or 5 not too bassy but not too clear but it's leaning towards the clear side so for music video and pricing wise i have no complaints i actually love using it the only small little problem with this earpiece is that it is very long it is longer than every other earpiece it is just because mainly because for gaming you are going to use it to connect to your pc hence you need a long cable to stretch to your pc to your ears which is actually i found it actually quite acceptable it's just the fact that the cable is rather too long for me to use it for other than gaming or editing so that will be 5% deduction and because of that 5% deduction how much does it get so from the previous score of 74 of 100 deduction of 5% it fares 69%
Nice. Yeah. So, 69%. That is like almost three times better than the generic earpiece. And because of that, it leapfrog from first place, leapfrog over the generic earpiece and it attained the top spot with 69%. And behind it, it is the generic earpiece. And yeah, so it is actually quite a solid earpiece. But too bad it is not wireless. Hence, it didn't fare as high as I hope. But for my test so far, I give it a solid buy, buy rating. And this is the end of this review for this earpiece. And so, with that, will there be a better earpiece than this? Me, for I have been, I look around for another earpiece within the range of about 15 to 20 bucks I found a earpiece that I actually quite like as well which is I call it the Sennheiser CX200 Street Edition that is actually quite a mouthful and this is also lo also almost the same price as the Blackstone G20 but will it fare better than the Blackstone or will it do worse than it? One way to find out is for you to like and subscribe to find out what is the verdict of this earpiece in the next episode of In Search of the ID earphones thank you for watching and i hope you go check my previous video that i did in the episode one and also go look at my other playlist and tell me what do you think of this earpiece and what do you think the verdict for this earpiece will it do better or will it do worse so Thank you for watching and this is Nash and I will see you next time. See ya.